Good morning, everyone. Uh, Tina Spaulding, Trance Channel here for our daily Course in Miracles lesson. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are doing lesson number 86, <clears throat> and this is a review period. So first, uh, reviewing lesson number 71, Only God's Plan for Salvation Will Work. It is senseless for me to search wildly about for salvation. I have seen it in many people and in many things, but when I reached for it, it was not there. I was mistaken about where it is. I was mistaken about what it is. I will undertake no more idle seeking. Only God's plan for salvation will work, and I will rejoice because his plan can never fail. These are some suggested forms for applying this idea specifically. God's plan for salvation will save me from my perception of this. This is no exception in God's plan for my salvation. Let me perceive this only in the light of God's plan for salvation. Uh, next, reviewing number, lesson number 72. <clears throat> Holding grievances is an attack on God's plan for salvation. Holding grievances is an attempt to prove that God's plan for salvation will not work, yet only his plan will work. By holding grievances, I am therefore excluding my only hope of salvation from my awareness. I would no longer defeat my own best interests in this insane way. I would accept God's plan for salvation and be happy. Specific applications for this idea might be in these forms. I am choosing between misperception and salvation as I look on this. If I see grounds for grievances in this, I will not see the grounds for my salvation. This calls for salvation, not attack. So that is our lesson review for today, lesson number 86. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> still struggling with my voice a bit. Let's see what Jesus has to say today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And this is one of the fundamental core teachings of the Course in Miracles. That when you judge, when you hold grievances, when you say you shouldn't have done that, it shouldn't be this way, this is wrong, you are in fact attacking God in the sense that this thing is happening, this is what is uh being expressed by the universe at this time. And when you argue with reality in that sense, we're using the word reality with a small r, the world in which you find yourself now, when you argue with reality, you are fighting with God. It is that simple because the thing that you are disputing has already come into being. It is there. And so it is important for you to truly understand the extreme power of acceptance. When you stop arguing with what is and go into a place of accepting what is, even if you don't want more of what is right now, it benefits you to accept what is because that is what has been decided upon. That is what has manifested. And there's no point in arguing with it. It is what is. And sometimes what is seems bad. Sometimes what is looks like the death of a loved one. Sometimes what is looks like lack of money. Sometimes what is looks like something that you don't want. But it is what is. And you are foolish and wasting your time to argue with what is. You may shift and change your perception. You may work on becoming more loving as a consequence of what is. You cannot change it. 
And so look to the world, not for your salvation. Look inside for your salvation. Look to love for your salvation. Do not seek salvation in the world or in another person or in more money or in a better body. But seek salvation in aligning with love so that you match what is. For what is, is always loving. It is your perception that is not loving. It is your judgments that are not loving. It is your attack on another, yourself or another, that is not loving. It is your interpretation that is not loving. I am that one that you know is Jesus. And we will speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining us today. Bye.